As mentioned in a previous video, there were rumors years ago that Cesaro would be the one to take down Brock Lesnar for the WWE title, thus using Brock's momentum to catapult the best modern day mechanic into the main event. Clearly, this never materialized, but situations like this sadly are not uncommon. And since the wrestling community is in some ways worse than a high school in the gossip department, it should be no surprise that there are plenty of rumors that never came true. But what is surprising is how many of these rumors should have actually turned into a reality. Whether it's because Vince McMahon decides he needs to swerve everyone, or if management just never had the plans to begin with, sometimes what causes the best buzz with fans is exactly what should happen. So without further ado, here are 7 WWE rumors that should have actually happened in 2017. The Miz vs Daniel Bryan On the August 23rd episode of Talking Smack, The Miz got into a heated exchange with Daniel Bryan. D. Bry called Miz a coward and criticized his soft style of wrestling. Miz erupted calling out Bryan for not being able to wrestle with the WWE. This argument got a lot of people talking and made The Miz noteworthy along with the Intercontinental title. This seemed to be setting up for a feud between the two rumored to culminate at WrestleMania, but sadly the match never happened. And with Daniel Bryan allegedly being cleared to wrestle by other doctors, it seems safe to say that Bryan does have one more match in him, and The Miz at WrestleMania was supposed to be it. John Cena vs The Undertaker The rumor was that Big Fight John was supposed to go one on one against The Undertaker in what would be the Phenom's final match. Instead, we got The Miz going against John Cena, which is a match we already saw at Mania, but this time it would be along with their significant others. And while the promos leading up to this event were great, this was not a highly desired match. Furthermore, Roman vs Taker was a disaster, and I think it's safe to say that we all rather have seen John Cena facing The Undertaker instead of watching him propose to Nikki Bella. WWE buys TNA The rumor mill was churning with speculation that history was going to repeat itself, with the WWE buying its competition as a declining TNA seemed to be heading towards foreclosure. Initially, there was speculation that a TNA invasion angle would be done with the hopes that WWE would be able to make up for the way they dropped the ball with the WCW invasion angle. TNA staples like AJ Styles and Bobby Roode were already with the company and could have taken part by joining the newly acquired TNA talent. Plus, legal drama over the Broken Hardy's gimmick never would have happened. But then after these rumors started to fade, the story then devolved into WWE just being interested in TNA's tape library. And then after that, the whole thing just fizzled out altogether. So while the WWE did manage to re-sign the Hardys and Kurt Angle without making the official buy of TNA, the fans lost out on a lot. No TNA added to the WWE network, no highlight footage to build future feuds, and no Robbie E vs Zack Ryder feud. Kurt Angle Angle, surprise entrant at the Royal Rumble. The 2017 Royal Rumble outside of Ty Dillinger was devoid of any real fun surprise entrants, and there were many that could have filled the void. Samoa Joe, Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura. But if there was one name that stood above the rest, it would be Kurt Angle. After Kurt was announced for the WWE Hall of Fame, many speculated that Kurt would be a surprise entrant in the Royal Rumble. And as the entrants rolled on one after another, people began speculating in the least Kurt would be a surprise number 30. But instead, we got a surprise Roman Reigns. The Big Show vs Shaq The Big Show and Shaquille O'Neal have been teased for a while now, with many hoping to see the two giants collide. This year's WrestleMania looked like it was finally going to be the time. With The Big Show getting into the best shape of his life, it seemed almost certain that this match was a go. And the rumors around why it didn't happen are still swirling. Some stating that Shaq's availability was the problem or that money was an issue, and others saying the problem was with the WWE and their inability to make up their minds on anything. And what's worse is, WrestleMania 33 might be the Big shows last, with Show teasing his retirement after his contract runs out. Considering how long he's been with the company, a significant last WrestleMania match is definitely not too much to ask for. Chris Jericho vs Kevin Owens Chris Jericho vs Kevin Owens did happen for a title on the grandest stage of them all. However, it wasn't for the Universal title, it was for the United States Championship. Allegedly, the original plan for the Kevin Owens Chris Jericho storyline was that it was supposed to culminate at Mania. However, management at the last minute decided that Brock vs Goldberg Round 3 needed a little bit extra, so they decided to have Kevin Owens get squashed by Goldberg, and they decided that Kevin Owens vs Chris Jericho would be for the United States Championship instead. And as a result, not only did Kevin Owens get squashed by Goldberg, but Chris Jericho was also cheated out of having another major run. And finally, 
John Cena's heel turn. While there is always a buzz surrounding the idea of John Cena going bad, this year there seemed to be a bit more than usual. The idea was that after years of service, Cena would grow frustrated with the new blood getting all the attention and even turning on the fans for not supporting him. He would then form a new heel faction, something that the WWE has been missing, comprised of other long-standing WWE talent who feel that they have been overlooked as of late, possibly even The Miz and Dolph Ziggler. And to top this all off, Cena would then tie Ric Flair's record by winning his 16th world title to solidify this new bad Cena persona. Now while Cena did win the title off a of WWE newcomer AJ Styles and Ziggler did turn heel and SmackDown does have a new heel faction with Jinder Mahal and the Singh brothers, the big piece of the puzzle that's missing is a heel John Cena. Well, there you go. There are seven rumors that should have happened in 2017. But what did you think? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can also check out some of these other videos I have ready for you. Thank you so much for watching. And this has been Dave Knows.